What is happening everybody? Hello and welcome back to Total Blast where we discuss about everything Marvel in the MCU. And today, we have some exciting updates for you. First off, we have a bit of casting news on a highly anticipated Fantastic Four movie which Max Shakeman, the man behind the success of WandaVision will be helming. This movie is set to be released in early 2025 and features a star studded rumor cast including Adam Driver and possibly Mila Kunis. But perhaps the most exciting part of this news is the potential portrayal of Galactus. Rumors circulating that Antonio Banderas may be considered for the role. With such a talented and versatile actor in the mix, the possibilities are endless. But that's not all. James Gunn has officially confirmed that Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 will feature not one, but two post credit scenes just like Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. We know that these scenes usually set up the upcoming project, with rumors flying around that there's a possible tease for a Fantastic Four, Silver Surfer, and even Nova. Fans are eagerly anticipating what Marvel has in store for us. And let's not forget the highly anticipated appearance of Kang the Conqueror, the next big bad villain in the MCU. We're going to be getting another glimpse of him in the post credit scenes. Only time will tell. But before we go into all of the buzz of the internet, guys, we're still giving out a brand new PlayStation 5 in this channel to one lucky subscriber. More on how to win at the end of this video. And if this is your first time, please subscribe and enable the post notifications so you don't miss out on subsequent videos. So, big news for fans of the MCU as rumors circulating that Antonio Banderas, for his incredible acting chops and captivating screen presence, is being considered to play the fearsome interstellar villain, Galactus, and the upcoming MCU Fantastic Four movie. And if the rumors are true, then this will be a monumental addition to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It is reported that a casting team has been in talks with Banderas to take on the role of the devourer of worlds, Galactus. Galactus is a cosmic entity. In Marvel Comics, he can consume entire planets, making him one of the most significant villains in the Marvel Universe. Fans have been raving with excitement ever since the news of the rumored casting started floating around Twitter. Kunis was reportedly being eyed to play Sue Storm aka the Invincible Woman. However, according to At My Time To Shine on Twitter, Kunis is not going to be playing Sue Storm, but instead being lined up for another role. Possibly Alicia Matters. However, we'll have to wait and see how the rumor pans out. The Fantastic Four movie is presently being directed by Matt Shakeman, who was behind the success of Marvel's Disney Plus series WandaVision. Fantastic Four is set to be released as part of Phase 6 of the Marvel Cinematic Universe in early 2025. And this film is highly anticipated by fans after several unsuccessful attempts to bring the superhero group to life in live action movie. However, it's exciting to speculate how Galactus' character will be portrayed in the upcoming film, given the massive difference between Marvel Comics and his depiction in the previous Fantastic Four movie Rise of the Silver Surfer. The MCU has taken a few cracks at bringing Marvel's first family to the big screen, but hasn't quite been successful. This new version of Fantastic Four is highly anticipated by fans who hope that this will be the definite version of the team in live action. In the comics, Galactus was depicted as a humanoid who became a massive world-eating entity dressed in magneto armor after being exposed to cosmic energy. In contrast, the 2007 film showed Galactus as a force that was more inhuman and non-verbal, using the Silver Surfer to do his beating. It's hard to deny the level of intensity that Banderas would bring to the role of Galactus. He has portrayed several types of villains in the past, with each one captivating audiences. While nothing is concrete at the moment about the casting, the prospect of Banderas being a part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe is enough to excite fans worldwide. The Fantastic Four film starring Antonio Banderas Adam Driver and possibly Mila Kunis is set to be released on February 14th of 2025. And now, changing gears to another exciting news of the day, as James Gunn's confirmation of two's post credit scene has sent Marvel fans into a frenzy. The two post credit scenes is almost guaranteed that we will get a tease for an upcoming project, and possibly a glimpse of the Marvel's next big villain, Kang the Conqueror. But the big question remains, what project will the scene set up? Well, rumors have been circulating for a while that we could see a tease for the Fantastic Four on Nova, and it appears that this could be a one direction that Marvel could take. So, with that said, the Guardians of the Galaxy franchise presents a perfect opportunity to showcase these characters since they have already established ties with both groups. While there are rumors of the Silver Surfer appearing in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, James Gunn has debunked these claims. However, it doesn't rule out the possibility of a post credit scene for the Silver Surfer since Marvel commonly uses the scenes to introduce upcoming projects. The Silver Surfer could even be a tease for the upcoming Fantastic Four movie, where he's expected to play a part together with Galactus as the main villain. Also, there were rumors circulating about a couple of months ago that Marvel was in the early developments for the Silver Surfer special presentation. The second post credit scene is most likely going to be setting up a Nova appearance in the MCU, with the first Garden of the Galaxy movie already exploring Xander and the Nova Corp. With the current team of the Guardians coming to an end, 
It's expected that the next thing would eventually emerge in the MCU, and Nova could well be a part of it. Additionally, I also think that a post credit scene could be a perfect opportunity to introduce Nova into the MCU, and give fans the hope that the new Guardians of the Galaxy team is on the horizon. With the MCU's pinchot for unexpected cameos, there's a possibility that we could see Nova in the movie itself. And as for it is for Kang, we could only speculate since there is no official word yet. It's possible that we could see something related to his appearance in Loki Season 2, or a complete different storyline focused on him. Since Kang is expected to be the next big bad villain in the MCU, a taste is highly likely, and a post credit scene will be a better place to introduce him to do that. Now, Similarly, we do not know if Jonathan Majors will still be reprising his role as Kang the Conqueror or if there will be a recast because things have been rough for Jonathan Majors after his arrest. So, we do not know if he's truly guilty or not, and this does not only spell doom for his career in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, but his career as a whole as he has already been dropped by some agencies. Anyways, insiders have also said in recent weeks that the Silver Surfer special presentation is in the work at Marvel. This presentation could be released before the Fantastic Four movie and could serve as another tease for Galactus and the Silver Surfer's appearance in the said movie. With no official cast yet, Marvel could hold off on revealing the cast through a post credit scene, but a tease for the Silver Surfer would generate buzz for the upcoming movie. The Guardians of the Galaxy now owns nowhere, thanks to the holiday special making them the official Guardians of the Galaxy. So, if a herald of Galactus were to make its way towards Earth, the Guardians would be the first to pick up on it. This could lead to a killer post credit scene where the Silver Surfer appears in the background and the Guardian realizes that it's a herald for Galactus. It could also end with a warning that the Silver Surfer is earning towards Earth, making the stakes higher for the upcoming Fantastic Four movie or other related projects. But keep in mind, these are just speculations for now. So take them with a hefty grain of salt. Whatever it may be, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. So, in conclusion, two post credit scenes in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 present an exciting opportunity to showcase upcoming project and tease the MCU's next big bad villain, Kang the Conqueror. With expectations at an all-time high, Marvel has their works cut for them. With their track record, this scene could reveal a game-changing project that will shake the foundation of the MCU when Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 blasts into theaters on May 5th of 2023. And with that conclusion, let's head over right to our giveaways, as we're still giving out a brand new PlayStation 5 on this channel to one lucky subscriber. And all you have to do to win is watch our videos, subscribe, turn on post notifications, like, and comment. And one lucky subscriber will be chosen from the comment section to win our brand new PlayStation 5. Also, I want to say thank you to everyone who has ever supported us this far. We truly appreciate it. What are your thoughts on this video? And how excited are you to see the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3? And what do you think about the post credit scenes? And what are you hoping to see? Please, don't forget to like this video and share your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. Subscribe and turn on the post notifications so you don't miss out on any of our latest Marvel news. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I hope to see you in the next one.